When you look at this inner quantity here, cosine inverse of x, this is just another way of saying cosine of what angle equals x. And so you can see if you take the cosine inverse of both sides of this equation, see cosine inverse of cosine theta is equal to cosine inverse of x. You can see I just took the cosine inverse of both sides. These are inverses. That gives us our angle uh, by itself, theta, which is equal to cosine inverse of x. So I just wanted to show you this is just another way of writing this. But what you would do now is you would construct a triangle, okay, a right triangle, and you're saying the cosine of theta is equal to x. Now anything can be written as a fraction by putting it over one, right? So you can say the cosine of theta is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. Remember the so ka toa acronym, remember? So cosine is adjacent divided by hypotenuse. But now what we want to do is we want to find that missing side in this right triangle. And we can use the Pythagorean theorem to do that. So what we have here is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. C, of course, is the hypotenuse, so that's one squared. Uh, let's call this A, so this is x squared plus b squared. So to solve for b now, we're gonna subtract x squared from both sides of the equation. We've got b squared equals one minus x squared. And if we take the square root of both sides, you can see that b equals the square root of one minus x squared. So I'm gonna put that right here for our missing side. So now what we're figuring out is what's the tangent of this angle? So tangent is the opposite side over the adjacent, right? Tangent's opposite divided by adjacent. So this is gonna be square root of one minus x squared divided by x. And you can see we've gone from a trig function here to an algebraic expression, and you've got it. So let's look at another example. See if you can do this one. We've got the sine of tangent inverse of square root of x over three. Now just again, a quick refresher, tangent inverse of square root of x over three is Another way of saying tangent of what angle equals uh, square root of x divided by three. See, because if we take the tangent inverse of both sides, that's gonna be theta equals tangent inverse of x over three. So we're gonna go ahead and construct our triangle now, right triangle, here's our angle theta. Tangent is the opposite side over the adjacent side. So that's how we get square root of x over three. Now we're gonna do our Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Uh, a is three, so that's gonna be three squared, plus here's our side B, square root of X squared, equals our hypotenuse, C squared. So we have nine plus the square and square root, those cancel, so that gives us X equals C squared. And if we take the square root of both sides, you can see that C is equal to the square root of nine plus X. So that's gonna be this side right here, nine plus X. But we wanna find out what's the sine of this angle. Well, sine, remember, is opposite over hypotenuse. So we have square root of x over square root of, I'm just gonna interchange these because addition is commutative, x plus nine. Now you might not wanna leave the square root in the denominator like this, so let's go ahead and rationalize by multiplying by square root of x plus nine over square root of x plus nine. See, we're multiplying the numerator and the denominator by the same thing, so it's just like multiplying by one, so it doesn't change the value. It's just gonna change the way that this looks. So it's the square root of x squared plus nine x. I'm just multiplying these together, distributing. All divided by square root of x plus nine times square root of x plus nine is just gonna be x plus nine, and you've got it. So if you wanna see more about trigonometry, I'm gonna put a playlist right there that you can check out. This channel is all about helping you to raise your grade, pass your class, and go on to pursue your dreams. And my goal is to help you do that. So I'll look forward to seeing you in the future videos. I'll talk to you soon.